Vanessa is back with another interesting tutorial, proudly presenting its latest new development, the MC550 Bending Machine. Begin by placing the rollers on each of the axles, first the small ones, and then the medium ones. To finish up, adjust the nuts so you can loosely insert the U-profile you're going to work with. It's important to tighten the nuts by hand only and remember to loosen them half a turn so the profile deformation can be absorbed upon bending. To bend the profile and create a complete circumference, you must begin working by leaving the least possible straight section at the beginning. That way, you can avoid collisions upon completing the piece. When bending a profile in a U with the wings to the inside, the machine always requires greater effort to do the work. Now, place three rollers on each axle without any separation between them and try to bend a flat plate. Two types of nuts come with the machine. For cases where the final roller positioned in the axle is partially in the air, it's important to use the nut with a neck to improve stability throughout the bending process. Activate Manual Operating Mode. Move the flat plate forward to the starting point. Select the left roller. Enter Target Elevation 33 and press the ON button. With this reference, the resulting bend will have a radius of 297.5 millimeters. Once the piece is finished, make sure the two ends are straight. They must be cut to get the perfect circumference. If you have programs saved in the library, you can choose the one you want, load it, and view all the data like the graphic arrangement of the rollers in the upper axle and lower ones. This is particularly useful when physically installing the rollers on the machine to prevent errors. Now the MC550 is ready to bend the plate 2 inches on the edge with a 3 8 thickness. This way, you can easily create a spiral. To work with narrower plates, just adjust the rollers with the correct dimensions remembering to always loosen each nut half a turn before starting to bend. Place the medium roller in the inner section of the axle and the small one in the outer section to bend square and rectangular pipes of different sizes. Just adjust the nuts manually to fit the rollers on each of the pipes, regardless of whether the measurements are in millimeters or inches. Now, make several equidistant marks on the pipe to bend it with different radiuses in order to insert them in the bending machine database for future jobs. Choose the type of profile to bend, square pipe, and are 40 millimeters for the section, 3 millimeters for the thickness. Choose the type of material, iron. For the upper axle, place the rollers in the proper position and choose the point of contact between the profile and rollers, interior or exterior. Repeat the same operation with the rollers on the lower axles. Put the lower axles in the clamp position, a reference elevation where the pipe to be bent is firmly secure between the rollers but without any deformation. Check whether there is already a radius for this configuration and proceed to create the first one. Zero radius, equivalent to the clamp position. Position the left axle in a reference of 42 and activate the joystick to the first mark.
measure the bend radius obtained, 1,710 millimeters, and add it to the database. Raise the left axle two reference units. Make the second bend and measure the resulting radius, 1,159 millimeters, and write it down. Then, do the same operation successively until the sample rod is bent. Now, let's create a new program. To do so, choose the profile geometry. Enter the reference data for the section and thickness, and choose the material you're going to work with. On screen, place the medium roller and the small roller in the upper axle and choose the inner contact point. Use the same roller configuration and contact point for the lower axles and check the radius database created before. You want a bend radius of 950 millimeters. You know the clamp position is at a reference of 54.4. Return to the automatic operating mode and define the reference elevations in the first step of the program. Discharge position to be able to remove the piece easily from the machine once finished. The second step is the loading position. Define the reference elevation with 5 units more than the clamp piece so the material loosely enters the machine. Position the two lower axles and confirm to create the step. In the third step of the program, you must create the clamp position. Therefore, position the two lower axles in a reference of 54.4. Access the radius database. To get a radius of 950 millimeters, you have to position the left roller at an elevation of 38.1. Confirm. Enter the name of the program. Press the information icon to view the different steps in the program. Choose Step 2, Loading Position, and press the On button to position the lower axles. Load the pipe into the machine and move it to the exact bending starting point. Check the resulting radius with a digital measuring device and continue working. When you create pieces with large bend radiuses, like as in this case, you can turn the machine on its side and work in a horizontal position for easier operation. In order for the roller to remain in position and not be affected by gravity, thus making the entrance of the material to be bent difficult, fixing washers are delivered with the machine. In addition to a horizontal working position, you can also use the bending machine in a vertical working position. Adjust the rollers manually, remembering to loosen each nut half a turn. Let's create the same piece as before, but now working in a horizontal position. Using the mobile control unit, the operator can control the bending process at all times. In most cases, you can use the side output hardener to force the profile to move forward.
This way, you prevent the 35 mm round part from colliding with itself upon closing the complete circle. To bend a square, position the large roller first and then the medium one. This way, you can make a precise adjustment to bend different sections of material. It's important to remember that you prevent movements that can alter the resulting bend radius with the profile supported. Let's create a new program. To do so, choose the profile first, a round pipe. Choose the diameter, 35 millimeters. And thickness, two millimeters. Choose the type of material, iron. Decide upon the roller orientation based on the working groove and place it in the three axles. Check the radius database to find out the different position elevations. Access automatic operating mode and position the two lower axles at a reference elevation of 120. This will be the discharge position. Save the step and continue. Check the database again, now to verify the elevation of the axles in the clamp position. With this reference, you create a good loading position if you loosen the rollers a bit so the pipe easily enters the machine. Position the two lower axles at an elevation of 57 and save the second step of the program. You can see the existing steps with the information icon. A radius of 0.0, .0 provides the clamp position of the material in the database. In automatic operating mode, position the two lower axles at an elevation of 53.8 and create the clamp step. Access the database again. Let's create a radius of 225 millimeters. Look at the position of the x-axis 21.1. In automatic mode, press on the current position of the x-axis. Enter the target elevation 21.1 and press the on button to place the roller in the proper position. Enter the name of your program. Activate the joystick to begin bending the pipe. As you can see, the piece being created is a perfect spiral. Measure the resulting radius, 225 millimeters. Now the piece is finished. When bending a pipe with welding, the seam must be placed at the front or back, but never at the top or bottom as it could alter the dimensions of the bend radius. Clamp the pipe and place it in a position to begin the work. Position the roller at the reference elevation to create the desired radius and begin creating another piece in spiral again. A 
Upon finishing, position the rollers in the reference elevation of the discharge step and remove the finished piece. The result is again as expected, a measured radius of 225 millimeters. This proves the MC550 bending machine can be perfectly repetitive. Now let's create a spiral with a radius of 104 millimeters on a round pipe. Load it into the machine and begin bending. As the straight end of the pipe is too long and it hits another roller during bending, the first resulting spiral turn has a larger radius than the others. Hence the importance of adjusting the start of the bend as much as possible to avoid any problems. With the piece finished, measure the resulting radius, 104 millimeters as would be expected. Access the program folder and load one of the existing ones into the list, a circle with a radius of 420 millimeters for a T-profile. Check the data, the position of the rollers in the upper axle and lower ones. Now the rollers are physically arranged as seen on screen to bend a T-profile towards the outside. Begin bending the profile and you get a perfect circle after a few seconds. Measure the resulting radius and check that the result is again as expected, 420 millimeters. Change the position of the rollers on the axles to bend a T-profile towards the inside, going over it several times. Load the profile into the machine and do the final adjustments, remembering to loosen the fixing nut half a turn. Begin bending the profile by generating a large radius. Slightly lift the lower right roller to close the profile radius a bit and begin with the second time. If you notice any marks on the profile, you can grease the piece to reduce the effort done by the machine during bending. By changing the arrangement of the rollers in the three axles, you can bend the same T profile laterally. Adjust the fixing nuts manually for ideal contact between the rollers and profile, remembering to loosen them half a turn. Begin bending the T-profile with the new orientation. The rollers are now on the axles to bend a solid square, going over it several times. In this case, it's important to work on the inner side of the axle because the machine suffers less mechanically. Do manual adjustments and begin bending. Since marks can be seen on the profile, loosen the fixing nut on the rollers a bit. The upper cover prevents the shell from coming off during bending between the sensitive parts on the machine. Slightly lift the lower right roller to close the piece radius a bit and begin with the second time. To work with stainless steel, it's best to use susteren rollers, which is a thermoplastic material that prevents marks and contamination by contact between different materials.
To generate spirals with constant separation between turns, properly adjust the side outlet hardener. Now, let's create a U-shaped piece with a very fine stainless steel pipe. To do so, make six equidistant marks on each of the ends. Access the program folder and create a new one. Choose the type of profile to bend, round pipe. Choose the diameter, 40 millimeters, and define the thickness, one millimeter. For the material, choose stainless steel. Arrange the rollers over the axles. You'll see that the radius database for this configuration has no record. Return to Automatic Operating Mode to create the first step in the program, the discharge position. To do so, you must position the lower axles in a way that the piece can come out without colliding with the rollers. Save the step. Here in the loading step, you must adjust the lower axles so the pipe is practically secure, yet it can freely move. To do so, you can use the joystick or move the corresponding axle to the desired target position. Save this step and continue defining the position of the lower axles, which correspond to the clamp step. References 54 and 54. Now the pipe is firmly secure. Check that you can make it move forward and backward without problems and save this step. Place the pipe in the first mark, slightly raise the x-axis, and activate the joystick to create the bend to the final mark on the opposite side. Now raise the y-axis roller and use the joystick to continue bending the piece, reaching the second mark on the other end. Repeat the described procedure again, yet finalizing each successive bend end-to-end -end one mark before. To shape the piece without any marks appearing in the intersection between points. Give the program a name. Access the program folder, choose it, and load it. Go to production mode and execute the discharge step. Now you can remove the finished piece without any problems and observe the perfect finish. Now you can create another piece exactly like the first by running the program created again. The resulting piece is identical to the other one with the same finish quality and zero marks. Respecting the same orientation, place the rollers with a double groove in the three axles and manually tighten the fixing nuts. Using the right groove, you can bend a construction rhea without problems by creating a perfect circle with the required radius. By adjusting the side outlet hardener, you can easily create spirals with a very wide step between spires. There are rollers with a single groove to bend large size pipes. You position them in the three axles and secure them with the fixing nut. Insert the pipe into the machine with the rollers in the loading position. By going over the piece several times as you alternate slightly, lifting the lower roller, you can reduce the bend radius of the pipe.
been small-sized steel pipes, Narhesa manufactures tempered D7 rollers with two canals for two different measurements in the same roller. For larger-sized pipes, it can be machined with a single groove. For more delicate materials like stainless steel, brass, copper, or aluminum, we manufacture the same type of rollers but in cisterin, which is a highly resistant thermal plastic that prevents marks and contamination due to contact between different metals. Three spacing washers, three thick spacing washers, the screws to secure the washers, three cup washers and six nuts, three normal and another three with a neck, as well as three sets of three rollers all come with the machine. The machine is shipped completely assembled. You just have to connect the control unit to the electrical panel. Connect the single-phase power source to a standard current socket and activate the switch to begin working. Using the bending assistant in manual operating mode, you can choose the lower axle you wish to control. It will be highlighted in red on the screen. Using the joystick, you can vertically move the roller selected up and down. Press the speed control bar to accelerate or slow down the movement of the axles. By pressing on the current elevation of an axle, you can define the target position using a convenient keypad on screen. The elevation to be reached is shown as a sub-index under the current elevation. Press the on button and position the chosen axle. Repeat the same procedure to position the other lower axle. By moving the joystick to the right or to the left, you can rotate the rollers on the three axles in both directions. By pressing on the rod, you can change the roller rotation speed. By selecting an intermediate operating speed, the machine has more torque or operating power to bend the pieces. You can choose the geometry and bending direction with the profile library. Height. width, thickness, material. You can also check the RADIUS database where you can add new records, edit existing ones, or delete them. Select the desired program in the program library. To load one, press the load icon. Information on program steps. Step one, removal of the part. Step two, loading position. Step three, clamp position. Step four, bending reference level. Alternating between editing and production modes. Possibility of adding and modifying steps. Delete steps. Delete programs. Create new programs. Select the profile. Choose a pipe measurement from the library in millimeters or inches. In this case, three American inches. Wall thickness, three millimeters. You can connect the pen drive in the USB port Enter the password Narhesa and import and export data between a PC and the control unit. Another main advantage of Narhesa bending machines is the integrated 4.0 technology. Whenever a customer agrees, our technical service can remotely connect to update the software, find anomalies, and even use the machine without needing to travel. The benefits of 4.0 technologies are endless, and the distance between the consumer and manufacturer disappears. Echo mode with the start-stop mode to reduce electricity consumption as much as possible.
orbital movements of the rollers for better use of the material and to create bends with much smaller radiuses than pyramidal bending machines. Three pole rollers to guarantee the ideal grab, speed, and a good finish. Possibility of moving the machine easily with a forklift. Pop-up warnings and notifications, such as a greasing alarm to remind you of the importance of keeping the gear set well greased. Greasing points for the spark plugs. Easy access to the warning and notification log from the operating screen to view, check, and reset existing alarms. Thanks for your trust in us, continuing to make progress.